my odds, my whole life I've been scarred. Far as my kids, I ain't sparing no rod, and that's the major fact. Everything's changed. Summer's getting plain, and forget about what's going on, guys. It's your boy Rob Lee back here yet another video once again. Make sure that you check out City Is Mine. Link is in the description below um, for all the streaming sites. Um, also, like, comment, and subscribe, and put those notification bells. Click that shit, smash it. Let's go! All right, guys, let's get into it. So, um, you know, everybody know who KSI is. Everybody know. Um, pretty sure everybody's listened to his album. Hold on, hold on. This is a little too early. Um, pretty sure everybody's listened to his album. Um, I've listened to a couple of songs. Um, I love Houdini. I think Houdini is the best song. The song with Lil Baby and Rick Ross is pretty dope. Um, Popping is, is is all right, but yeah, I mean, for the most part, uh, his album's pretty decent. Um, especially, I mean, you know, it's KSI's his first, you know, real album. I think he makes all right music. I don't think he's like the next, you know, greatest thing as far as music goes, but he, he makes some all right music. The dude's marketing plan is crazy. Everybody, every YouTuber is reacting to his, his album. Every YouTuber is making reviews about his album, and the needle drop made a review now i watched the needle drop um i'm not sure if his name was the needle drop before i think he i don't know if he just changed it but anyway basically what the needle drop is he does reviews for all kinds of albums for all kinds of music he goes very in depth he's a music nerd self-proclaimed and he really does his his um his research and stuff when it comes to these things so hopefully one day i can have my music i'll review by him but anyway yeah so he definitely he went um and did jj's review i actually haven't watched that video so i was going to do kind of reaction to that video but ksi did a reaction to that video so kind of kill two birds with one stone i'm going to watch ksi's reaction to the needle drops review of ksi's album dissimulation i think that's what's called so, anyway, guys, like I said, once again, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Let's get into this video. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. It is time for Anthony Fantano to review. Anthony Fantano, okay. Yeah, I, I knew him by his real name. I didn't know, I honestly didn't know him by his, you know, YouTube name. Like I said, I don't know if it's, he changed it or not. But, anyway, let's see. My album. When it comes to music reviews, Anthony Fantano, also known as the Needle Drop, is goated. Yep. He's a fact. The channel is just filled with reviews from people like Gunner to the 1975 to Charlie XCX, Future. Like the range of music that he reviews is just incredible. And I watch this guy a lot. Like I watch almost every single video from him. For him to be reviewing my album is incredible. <laughs> Yeah, this is, uh, this, it, it, exactly, this is, like, some next level stuff, yo, so KSI, man, bro, props, just with this alone, man, that you're able to get, um, the needle drop to relax to it, like, for real. <laughs> it's, I don't know, it's very surreal, and, uh, yeah, I actually can't believe it's happening. Also, I'm gonna be doing a Twitch interview with him, um, huh. I'm not sure when, actually, let me check. 3rd of June, uh, 3.45. Hey, yo, what's the problem is wrong well, with you, JJ, bro? Like, that, you look, you looking... You're looking really funny right there, bro. That middle picture. Yes, T. He literally used one of the worst photos. Of yeah, I, <laughs> at least you agree. At least you agree, bro. <laughs> oh, Look at the forehead, bro. Hey, yo. <laughs> I was exposed. <laughs> yo, I'm like, bro, what's yeah, going on, one JJ? Of, uh, the needle drop is he's extremely critical. Like, Extremely critical. Well, yeah. Just give a low score. You gotta understand that this guy, he, 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 he listens to music in a different in a different ear, yo. So, I mean, at the, when it comes to these like high critics, and this is what I gotta do when I put my music out, and I'm not gonna talk too much, but uh, when I submit my music to a lot of curators and blogs and stuff, you know, and they give me these reviews. You know, I take a lot of what they say with a grain of salt because although they not, might not necessarily like it or think that it can be composed better or lyricism can be better or mix and mass it can be even better, um, the consumers don't listen to it in the same way. So, you know, you, you still make your music for your consumers. You don't want to make your music to impress these, I mean, unless you, I mean, the only you do, and you want to have a good balance. You do want those people to expose your music and use their platform, and that's the the hurdle that you're trying to get on, right? So, but at the same time, 
just because they're highly critical doesn't mean that your song isn't good. Just because they're highly critical doesn't mean that people won't want to listen to it. So don't get discouraged on your push. Just take what they say, get the advice, and apply it to the next song, but keep it pushing. To so many people. Like, for me, I am gassed that my album is just clear. There is not a not good on it. <laughs> if I got a not good, I think I'd want to top myself. <laughs> yeah, it's decent, man. It's cool. He's a not good to Nav, Jonah Lucas. Hey, hey, I'll say that. He, he don't got a not good. <laughs> he don't got a not good. He gave Justin Bieber changes not good. He gave Lil well, here's the thing, Lil Baby, he he's very biased towards Lil Baby and Gunner. Baby, but, Justin so. Bieber, Trippy Red, Logic. And Jimmy sure. Ballage, See, I haven't listened to these songs. Though. On, he's out on of uh, not good that he's given. So for me to not have a not good <laughs> is So good. this video is twenty minutes long, so I am going to go ahead and get into where he starts reviewing. So let's get into it right now. <laughs> Alright, alright, I need to start like a fucking family. <laughs> you do. A new KSI record, Dissimulation. This Jeez. is a new full of English YouTuber, streamer. I think it's so sick that he's even acknowledged me. Holy shit, especially as me. Okay, JJ, like I said, congratulations, man, for everything that you're doing. But my guy. You had a fight at the Staples Center, bro. You're you're big time. People know who you are, okay? So stop it. Stop it. This stop. Is, this is huge. Fuck. Content creator extraordinaire, KSI. Now, I know what some of you are thinking before I start this review. Who cares? <laughs> YouTuber, right? <laughs> See, that's the misconception. Here's the thing too, bro. Like as a artist that's that has a YouTube channel and plan on using his YouTube channel as a platform to for his music, I am kind of scared because they do not people don't and even me in a way just not that I don't take artists that are YouTubers seriously. It's just that it's is a different type of mindset you have towards YouTubers who are artists and artists who are just artists because I think it's more so the mystery factor of artists you know I think somebody made this point one time like Playboy Cardi you know he just puts out music and you just listen to the music and you create in your mind what you know you think this person is whereas when it comes to YouTubers you're so much more personal to them because you look at their videos, you look at their, even Will Smith has become more personal to me. Will Smith, even as a, even as an actor, still had a mysterious factor to, um, about him until he started making content on the internet. So he started making social media content. Now he's just more personal, personal to you. And I think, you know, in overall though, that just helps your career. But I see why people are like, um, they, they they don't take you seriously, though, as an artist, because you're not an artist first, I guess. And isn't he also the dude that boxed Logan Paul? Fuck yes, say. and yes, yep. he is a gamer and a bit of a goof, too. Hey, yo, what? what, what? <laughs> okay, okay, I side. You are. You are a goof. Like, come on. <laughs> hey, come on, man. <laughs> Like that. There's tons of cringy <laughs> clips of him all over the internet doing God knows what. Uh, okay, okay, that's when I was younger, obviously. Uh, <laughs> You're still kind of cringy. Younger, I did a, a few bad things. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love oh, JJ. Yeah, yo, JJ's I'm hilarious. Sure. So you gotta keep it real too. <laughs> I'm a new man. I'm an older man. Yeah, see, you know, you know, notice why I'm checking. I'm actually watching my stocks right now. I'll make a stock video one day. I'm living in an era where online content creators are building scary, huge platforms. Mm -hmm. and with 21 million YouTube subscribers, KSI is one of those guys. When Jeez. you're following is that Jeez. huge, the name of the game is figuring out different ways to monetize your audience's attention. That's and true. Music is just one of the most obvious avenues to do that. Yep. Considering the numbers a guy like Yeah, but I mean like I don't know, I've always I've always just been doing music anyway. Like it's not like well I don't even see the fucking money I make from music, man. I've made way more money doing YouTube videos. Unboxing than music. Music, I make fuck all. <laughs> I mean, not fuck all, obviously, I've made money, but I don't know, nothing compared to YouTube and uh, I don't know, it's just a hobby, I just like doing it, I enjoy doing music. Yeah, I don't really see it as 
something I'm there to try and monetize. I'm not there like, yo, I need a money stream. Oh, I have all these money streams, but I don't have enough. You know what? I like that he said that, and it has me thinking like, okay, that means that you really are, you didn't say KSI is in like the same position as an independent artist that's doing the music for the love of the music, because he doesn't need to do the music to get the money. And that's going to have him put out his best stuff. Because when you do things, sometimes when you do things for money, you tend to just do it because you know you're going to get paid. And you might not put out the best quality of stuff because you think you're going to get paid. But with KSI, he's, like he just said, he doesn't even see the money. It's probably just scraps compared to when he makes off YouTube and fighting at the Staples Center and all this other stuff. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, which means, like I said, it, it's probably one reason why the album is getting such good press. It could be getting good press because, you know, this is coming from a YouTuber rapper or something. And, and you know, the, the, um, the standards are lower probably, but it is what it is. Music! Ah, oh, yes! Let's jump on this! <laughs> Considering the numbers a guy like KSI can bring to the table, it's no wonder we're seeing more and more internet personas making successful crossovers into other sectors of the entertainment oh, of course. industry. One of the most obvious being Joji's successful break-off yeah, from his filthy Frank character. I don't know what that is. Bond as well. He's done bits. <laughs> There's no reason KSI couldn't compete on a similar level. He has the fans, he has all the money in the world to throw at a studio project decked out with features from Rick Ross. That is fact. Baby. That is fact. I was like, bro, and I want to see what KSI says, but let me give you my opinion before he says what what he's going to say, and he probably explain what how he got the features, but, bro, that's how much money you know this band has with the features that he was able to get. You're talking about big-time artists like Lil Baby who probably charged like 10 bands for a verse. And Trippie Red and offset yep. the sound of this project is pretty high grade too without a doubt quite a bit of effort went into engineering this yes mm -hmm. trust me lsm <laughs> knows lsm <laughs> knows aesthetically the production the vocals run pretty much like what you might catch on your average track record that would land on the front of apple music okay, or a okay, Spotify okay. playlist the triplet hi-hats the heavy and clean sub bass the splashy reverb, a touch of auto-tune as well. There are some tracks here that have a bit of a Travis Scott vibe, especially on the song Cap, where I would say that uh, KSI is blatantly ripping off Travis Scott. <laughs> 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 Shit! Really? I guess it's just the auto-tune. It's the auto-tune, bro. It's, it's legit the auto-tune. I mean... It depends how much, if you use a lot of auto tunes, you're going to start to sound like Travis Guy. The auto -tune <laughs> but comparing KSI to some of his YouTube contemporaries who have also tried to step into music, his rapping and vocal delivery is a lot more convincing than a Jake Paul or oh. like a Rice Gum. Oh, Ooh, and that's a win right there for KSI. And Rice Gum, here's, here's the thing too, like I, I've seen Rice Gum stuff and just not impressive. He kind of carries the stereotype of the typical YouTube artist. KSI, on the other hand, seems like he's more versed when it comes to making music than a Rice Gum and Jake Paul. Let's not even talk about it. Oh, 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 oh. Yes! Be hype. Be hype. Jeez. Let's go. Let's, I mean, to be honest, like, we already need <laughs> ah, he definitely. We have both dropped tracks that have done massive numbers on the platform, but to anyone who is actually a music fan and not just a Rice Gum or a Jake Paul stan, yeah. you can hear their rap skills are lacking, to put it politely. I Why? just, exactly what I just said. His eyes flows are a lot smoother. The Ooh. tone of his voice, much meaner. Ooh. He's got some nice bass in his range as well. Honestly, if I didn't know who this was from the sound of this record and the look at the track list and the vibe of the instrumentals, I would assume this was a major label project with a big budget behind it from an artist who does this professionally. Mm -hmm. 
Wow. Wow. That is a whole, that is an awesome compliment, bro. Yeah, I never, I, I never feel because I am me, KSI, the YouTuber, uh, it puts me at a disadvantage to most musicians just because people are like, oh, he's a YouTuber, it's probably trash. So exactly. No one even gives me a chance. So I always have to prove myself. But you know what? That is just how it is. That's just how it is. And I just have, I just have to deal with it. <laughs> so at the very least, KSI has met this bar of quality set by other trap rappers who have a deal and a very expensive chain with like a gem encrusted SpongeBob character hanging on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my parents, yeah. <laughs> so you have KSI operating in this lane, but is he doing anything within it? that makes him stick out. In fairness to KSI, I will say, it does sound like he put some effort into his verses, and he's certainly not mumbling his way through them. Yeah, I, I, I put a lot of effort. <laughs> I do, because it's it's special to me. It's right. important. I don't know, I just, I love doing it. And I, this is my first. Right, that's the difference. I'm gonna go back and talk about it again. When you talk about Rice Gum, when you talk about these other YouTubers who do music, you know, or and they're doing music as a side hustle to what they're doing. Yeah, you're going to get a certain amount of effort, but you're not going to get your best because it's your side hustle. It's not your main focus. Um, and and as an artist, I know exactly what you mean. That There's ways you need to do your verse and way to pronunciate certain words to get your, you know, feelings out and everything. So... Man, props to KSI, man. But it's so I want. I want it to be special. So, of course, I'm, I'm not going to just get, try and get a fucking paycheck. I'm going to put my all into it. Exactly. It's cool that he recognizes that. I, I fuck with it. Sounds like he cares about whether or not his choruses are hitting as well. It's not like he's just hopping on a track and casually riffing for two or three minutes and then it's just over without much of a hook in sight if mm -hmm. he didn't care about the catchiness of his songs i don't think he would go through the trouble of forcing out a song titled cap hoping it would catch on because cap and no cap are such yeah. popular slang terms right now mm -hmm. that's cap <laughs> no it's not that's the opposite of what you mean cap on my head we also hey, yo. a dance hall track with the song Houdini speaking. If you still here, I appreciate you, man. A little focus group, like we have to have this vibe and that vibe, this style and that style, go for this sound and that sound. I think that's that's just me. <laughs> that's just me in general. I just like having different sounds. I hate just having the same sound. I hate just doing the same thing. As you can see <laughs> in my whole. Same here, man. Like. I get annoyed at myself, even with songs I never even put out, when my sound sounds similar to another song already. So I'm already like, I hate it. I, I, I have to do it differently. <laughs> so that's why I was just like bouncing around doing different styles of music, just trying stuff out. And you know, whenever it landed, I just go, yeah, yeah, this works for the album, etc. I often cringe at pop rappers who force themselves into this style just because Drake helped popularize a more gentrified version of it. But JJ actually sounds pretty comfortable over this style of song. I'm assuming he's talking about Houdini, and I love Houdini for KSI style. Houdini, he needs to make more songs like Houdini. He needs to make a lot more songs like Houdini. The trap stuff is cool. But Houdini is amazing, and when you find something that's amazing, you attack that joint like a like it's a niche, man. But I, I'm assuming he's talking about Houdini. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> there is a good feature on the track, a slick hook, some really punchy beats too. What's not to like? With some Jeez. tracks here, KSI seems to have a decent sense of what makes for a good song in a certain vibe, mm. namely the track Poppin' featuring Lil Pump and Smoke Perp. Now, a feature from these two is a bit dated at this point, but it is a pretty grimy banger Dang. with production. Nowhere near as raw as the early SoundCloud stuff that put these guys on the map, but a similar energy there that KSI effectively plays off of with his Dang. on the track pretty well. So he enjoys Pump. You see? Pop is a good track, guys. <laughs> Why are you hating? Poppin's not a bad track, KSI. It's just 
One, the feature dated. Wow, can't believe he actually said that Lil Pump and Smoke Perfect dated at this point. It's like, wow. It, J. Cole kind of, uh, anyway. Um, yeah, it's not a bad song. It's just not a great song. It's not, it's average. It's completely average. I don't like the beat, and it's just an average song. It, and when you put out average stuff, like honestly, with the popping, I almost don't. Then he kind of was in the same lane as the other YouTubers for a second. But yeah. <laughs> Deeper into this short project, though, he fails to make a case for his own originality. Lee tried <laughs> bad little. Ah! Ah! Oh my God. No, my feelings. Oh, my ego is depleting! He fails to make a case for his own originality. The track Bad Lil Vibe is another moment that sounds like a blatant Travis Scott ripoff, but not even Travis Scott. This track could have literally been on the new Don Tolliver record, but if it was, it would have been better because <laughs> Don would have sung his fucking ass off. <laughs> his KSI's singing as opposed to his rapping is not quite as I good. agree with that. Oh, I agree. In the world can't distract from how tone deaf he is. Ah! <laughs> I'm already dead, but I'm still, please. Oh, oh, oh fuck, Anthony, man. Jeez. Yeah, he coming hard at you, bro. Let me, uh, I'm gonna fast with this a little bit too. Like, I don't want this video to be too long. You sounding like Chewbacca when she backing up? Hey, hey yo. Hey, yo. Oh, man. That's funny. Anthony's clearly not fuck certain girls. <laughs> I'm just saying certain girls <laughs> say some questionable things <laughs> when they orgasm. <laughs> oh, that's fucking jokes. I can't imagine what that would sound like. <laughs> the last the record, which in my opinion is a mixed bag. Domain is one of the grander and more aggressive cuts on the project. Domain is, domain is tough. Being pretty braggadocious about his roots and in the internet, his success, and he certainly has accomplishments worth bringing up and his vocal delivery is so expressive on this one. He brings a lot of conviction to the table. But I guess we'll see if this success translates into the wider world of hip-hop. It's one thing for him to pull these big features on this project, but it will be game time the day a large artist decides, you know what, my record cannot do without a KSI feature. I right. That's just, it's gonna take time. It's just something that isn't just gonna happen. But I'm currently taking the right steps towards that. Speaking of big names, we have Rick Ross and Lil Baby <gasps> on the track down like that. Now, while I find this track listenable, it's just not very groundbreaking, not very memorable. It's got a lot of name recognition. <gasps> How are you going to say that about that one? Oh, the legacy! <laughs> That's so much meaning, that song! <laughs> I guess my fans will appreciate it more than people who just listen to music uh, in general. The track Which is fine, you make some music for your fans, it's cool. Rapping his ass off a little bit with a lot of passion, that's great. Uh, but the vocals are mixed incredibly low on this cut, and they are slathered in auto-tune too, which makes it difficult to really connect with them in any meaningful way. Though the instrumental is easily one of my favorites on the project. The plucky acoustics and killer woodwind melodies in the background are both great. We then get the worst for last, though, on the track Millions, where KSI is sounding absolutely comatose or maybe overcome with emotion. I can't quite tell. Okay, look. All right, yeah, uh, guys, the uh, camera died. Uh, we back in two. Still got about five minutes left in this video. Let's go. That's kind of just how it felt when I wrapped it. I wanted it to just be real. Like it. Oh. I guess that's why I had like a deadpan um, delivery when it came to the song. Not including the chorus, obviously. But what really ruins the track right from the start are these tuneless auto-tuned vocal leads that are overlapping each other hideously. Thematically, this song reminds me a lot of Post Malone's Rich and Sad, but the lyricism isn't nearly as catchy. The tune isn't really there either. It's not, uh, that's, if you telling me, all right, my song isn't as good as freaking Post Malone, I'm not taking that as an insult. I'm taking that as a Okay, thank you for giving me the advice that I need to get to this point. The sentiments of this song that money can't buy happiness and Fuck. that's no replacement for this missed or broken personal relationship or connection that you had going on, but uh, uh, without some songwriting ability to translate the pain of that, you're not communicating much. Which leaves me worried 
post this record about KSI's future in music. Because oh, translating serious. such a sentiment in a song is a pretty necessary skill for having a long-term music career. You can drop all the bangers you want in the world, but that's what everybody is doing. If you don't give your audience the opportunity to connect with you on a deeper level, uh -huh. they're just going to move on to, to the next else. banger. But yeah, KSI's true. empire on the internet <clears throat> is a multimedia empire. So who knows if he really needs his music to hit like that in order for it to be a successful venture. Right. I mean, I guess there were some tracks from this thing that I liked and I thought were cool, but at the end of the day, I'm left wondering, is this a passion project, a vanity project, or is it an attempt at something greater in the music world? That's a big question. Mm -hmm. And I will answer it. Obviously, it is, it is passion. It's one All right, so basically that's the end of the video. Um... Yeah, man, appreciate uh, you guys being here with me. Um, just my final thoughts. Uh, like I said, I think the album was cool um, overall. Um, the review was definitely more in-depth than I could ever, you know, do. So that's why um, he does his thing and I do my thing. So anyway, guys, once again, make sure you uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification button, and I will see you next time. Peace.